Hey guys, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. Hope everyone is doing good, having a great start to the new year. If you have not yet subscribed to Quantity Surveying Studio, please do subscribe for quantity surveying related videos. Hope you all are enjoying the contents that is being put up. Thanks a lot for the support. So today's video is a kind of tip or advice that I can give you based on my experience. This is related to MEP quantity surveying and specifically electrical side when you actually do cable takeoffs. So if you're not aware of how cables are taken, it's mainly the, the basic document that is being used is the SLDs or single line diagrams or we call it the schematic. So based on that, you will get a flow of how the electricity is going is moving in that particular project and based on that you correlate it with the different plans the different floor plans understand where the different panels the transformers the distribution boards are coming and accordingly you do the measurement of the cables you will have a destination you will have a source so you can do your takeoff from your plans after doing the scaling proper scaling so while doing this cable takeoffs you must have seen that in some project the lengths are given in the schematic or the sld itself like they show the different flow and there itself they would mention the length is equal to 50 meters or from this panel to this panel it is 50 meters from this mdb to this smdb this main distribution to this sub main distribution number one is 20 meters so that would be mentioned in the schematic itself in the single line diagram itself and in some projects it won't be mentioned so when it is not mentioned it is obvious that you need to actually go and measure it actually find these distribution boards and panels in the plan and do the if the cables cable tray routings are provided well and good you can follow that routing and add the drops the termination uh, lengths accordingly so that is how you go upon doing the cable length measurements but when these lengths in some schematics when these lengths are provided should you take directly take these lengths and not measure it as per the plan so what most of us might be doing is that you would take these length from the single line diagrams and you will be making your cable uh, skim the cable schedules cable schedules uh, i've already made a video on how you can make a cable schedule you can go through it i can put the link of that video also at the top of this video where specifically you will have the details like from where it is coming to where it is going what are the verticals what are the horizontal lengths what are the drops all those details would be provided in a kind of excel you create and the cable size another thing that is important what is a cable size so from that excel you can understand for particular this cable size this much length of cable is required so that is mainly the purpose of a cable schedule so as i said if these lengths are given what we try to do is to save time we directly put these quantities we directly input these quantities into our uh, measurement sheets and then calculate it so is that the right thing so my answer is no never do this in any of your projects do your measurements properly even if the lengths have been provided as 20 meter don't assume that it is exactly right or it is perfect so what happened from my experience that i'm telling is in one of the projects when we were doing the cable measurements the lengths were provided and we to just to save time what we did is we directly you know encoded these lengths into our measurement sheets and took these lengths into the boqs we uh, input these lengths into our boq that we, we were doing if i remember it was a middle east project and we had to make a boq a cost plan uh, based on nrm standards and we directly included these quantities into our measurement sheets and that went into the boq and then later on when the reviews happened by the client it was understood that it was completely wrong so what had happened is the designer usually the designers make these schematics and they include these lengths but what happened was the designers had just to save time they had 
included some other lengths the lengths of some other projects or they just included some quantities into that particular schematic diagram and they just made the drawings like that and provided it to the consultants to us to do the takeoffs and finally came to our understanding that the measurement we did was completely wrong and it gave a, a negative feedback to the client it was like the impression came that we never took any takeoffs at least if something like that happens we have to do a cross check at least two or three cables we need to check if that particular length that has been provided in the single line diagram is right or not so that was not done so it was a complete chaos so that i thought i would share it with uh, you guys so next time when something like this happens in a single line diagram if the measurements are provided don't assume it to be correct the first step would be take five or six cables uh, i would say not even audited you need to completely measure it again the complete cables need to be measured again and made a schematic uh, cable schedule needs to be made from scratch so that you have that backup even you can come easily show that how you have made these measurements if you have not done it uh, you can you if you tell that oh the measurements i have taken it from the single line diagram the obvious question that comes from the client is have you done a cross check of that how how are you confident that the length provided is right or not so this is a big advice a important advice that i can give to all the mep qs or any qs who are doing a cable takeoffs so the next time when you are facing a similar kind of situation do your takeoffs from the scratch have the proper backups so that if any doubts come from the client any any questions come from the client you have the right backups the right documents to show to them so thanks a lot for watching this uh, small video enjoy your day take care bye